Hi, this is Tarnel with Wave Woman Recipes. And today I found myself some Pillsbury filled crescents. It's a new thing and it looked interesting. And I thought it would be interesting to try baking them up in the Breville Combi Wave 3 in 1 combination of a microwave convection oven and air fryer. And so, see how these uh, Pillsbury filled croissants turn out. I got cherry. They also sell apple. Nothing in this video is uh, sponsored at all. But just want to try these out, see how the Breville Combi Wave does with it, see how they taste in case you're interested. So let's get started on them now. All right, so we've got our filled crescent packet here, and we've got some cooking spray. Going to spray the cooking spray in this uh, black baking pan just to make sure that they don't stick at all. And I'm going to basically get this out. The way you're supposed to do this, according to their instructions, preheat to 375. We'll get to that in a bit. But basically you unroll them out like you would normal crescent rolls if you're familiar with that. And then you put this filling inside of them and roll them up. And then you bake them. And after you bake them, then they have an icing pack. And you put the icing on. So I'm going to basically start getting these unrolled now. And so there's our filling pack. Here's our icing pack for later. So basically just going to get this roll open. Looks just like a normal roll of crescent rolls basically from this point. It's just like crescent rolls with filling and icing for improved flavor and to uh, pay a little more money to Pillsbury. <laughs> but it looked interesting so definitely was interested in giving this a shot just to give it a try. And going to basically just roll them out on this cutting board here that we'll just use to kind of help us in getting things put together. I'm going to do probably about four at a time since it's easier doing four at a time of these. So just going to separate that off and just kind of get these kind of separated and laid out. And I've always been a big big fan of crescent rolls. Kids love crescent rolls. And I hope you love crescent rolls too since you're watching this video. <laughs> so, alright, got that out. We'll get this one over here, just kind of like that. That one I might have messed up a little, but it'll be alright. And you're supposed to clip the edge of the packet and then kind of like pipe the filling in. So supposed to put it like right here like that there I believe that's right looks kind of like the picture just pipe some more out all right looks like we'll have plenty for our other rolls but I guess it's like don't want to use it all use it all up on these first four now we should be able to roll things up, having our filling inside. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting trying to pick it up with stuff in it. <coughs> we'll see if they look like these. I guess they should be a little more closed off. So I'm going to try and make sure as I roll that I'm kind of maybe closing it but I don't think I'm closing the ends off good. I may have filling that spews out the sides. We'll see what happens. I guess I don't want to crush them and have it you know squirt out the side or anything. And maybe I used a little too much but they give you a lot in the packet so we'll see what happens. If I make a mistake then you know what not to do. But if I do it right then you know what to do. <laughs> All right, get these four unraveled. Get them laid out. Separate this dough. One and that number two, number three and four. All right, now I've got so much of this filling, you know. I guess I don't want it to go to waste. So, even though it might be hard to close them, I'm gonna try and squirt a good bit of it in there. You know, maybe load them up pretty good with it. You know one thing, they'll be tasty no matter how they look in the end result. 
I do believe they will taste good because with all this stuff on them I don't think it's a way that they won't taste good all right this last one I'm gonna try and squirt the last of my filling out on this one let's see how much I can get out of it well, that's pretty good looking pretty good to me all right got it all dumped out now I'm just gonna roll them up these last four just kind of set that there Guess I'm kind of wondering also as these grow and expand in my pan, you know. I'm hoping they don't kind of mess each other up as they expand. So just trying to give them all a good bit of general space to grow in as they expand. We got two more to roll together here. Alright, let's see if I can make room for one more. So that we have a total of eight. Get this one rolled up. All right, roll that up. That's pretty cool. I do believe we'll have some some oozing out the sides the way that I've done them. But you can leave a comment with your tips and advice. Many of you always do, so we look forward to that. Now I'm going to go and get the Breville Combi Wave warmed up. Okay, so here's our Breville Combi Wave. Inside I have the metal trivet sitting down on the glass rotating bottom there. And so we're going to get things preheated. Alright, so I got you on the close-in view here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the oven button. And going to turn the time down. I'm going to turn it down even though it says like 10 to 13 minutes or something like that. I'm going to turn it down to like 16 minutes to give it like a few extra minutes because I found the combi wave sometimes needs a few extra. If it looks done in 13 then I'll stop it in 13 but it may need that extra time. You see it has the use trivet symbol there to let you know to use the trivet. I'm going to turn that temp up to the recommended 375. I'm going to go ahead and hit start and it says that the oven is preheating so it's preheating now once it's done preheating we'll get the pan in there all right the Breville combi wave has finished its preheat to 375 degrees it took 10 minutes it took 10 minutes to preheat to 375 I'm opening up and putting the pan on the trivet now that it's nicely preheated and closing the door and I'm just making sure that the time is at the desire well, I'm trying to get it to the 16 minutes we want it but it's kind of keeping that extra time on the 51 seconds so it's like 15 minutes 51 seconds so we'll go with that hit start and so it's gonna go ahead and cook and we'll see how long this takes okay we're coming to the end of the 16 minutes at 375 I think they're gonna be okay with 16 minutes so we're gonna get them on out of here and here's how they look after 16 minutes at 375. There are your finished filled crescent rolls. And we'll go ahead and start putting some of that special icing on top of them to give them some extra sweetness. So I'm going to just drizzle that on all of these now. Just ooze it on out of there. There we go. And I'm not a uh, very decorative artist when it comes to this type of drizzle, so I'm just kind of putting it on all of them enough to get some coverage. I think you're supposed to do like some type of side-to-side -side type of a design, something like that a little bit. But I'm running out of my icing almost. Let's see if I'll have enough for all of them. Got just a couple, two, three more, and I'm nearly out. Nearly out. All right, the last bit. Let's see if I can get some more up in there. 
pipe some more out and we'll be done. Alrighty. Get on there. Man, just enough. Just enough. Alright, so we basically got our icing out on them. And going to go ahead and try and get one or two out. And I'll just put them in my bowl here for our taste test. And get this other one here. This, you can see this one here, I kind of closed the end on it better. So, let me show you kind of a close-up. So here we go. So let's get the camera moved and we'll do a taste test. Filled crescent rolls, let's see how they taste. I'm going to grab this one here. Alright, they're very light, very fluffy, they're good. I mean, you know how crescent rolls taste. So having the extra filling and icing, it's kind of like a toaster strudel, but light like a crescent instead of having like the kind of, you know, thicker toaster strudel type of exterior that you bite through when you do toaster strudel. It's really light bite through of a crescent, but the flavor of a toaster strudel. So it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, you know, if you want to try them, try them. And, you know, definitely looking forward to your comments. As I said, you'll be able to find other recipes, since this one's so simple, won't uh, like post a printable version of this, but just remember add a few minutes because the Breville Combi Wave needs just a few extra minutes as far as it's cooking. And you'll be able to find, like I said, other recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. Also, in the referral, there are referral links in the video description for other cookers if you're interested. Pay the same price, but help this channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.